the Republican Party is trying to revive itself, much like the Democrats did a generation ago when they were thrown out of the White House and had difficulty connecting with the American people. That was the era of Ronald Reagan, who served eight years as president and was followed by his vice president, George H.W. Bush, as a continuation of the Reagan era for four more years. During that 12-year span of GOP rule, the Democrats realized they were doing something wrong, and they started to pay more attention to their centrists instead of letting the liberals hold sway. This led to the rise of Arkansas Governor Bill Clinton, who defeated Bush in 1992 and broke the Republican hold on the presidency. He did it more by moving to the center and avoiding ideological stubbornness. Republicans today are having trouble both moving to the center and modifying their own desire for ideological purity, in their case, a conservative variety. But some in the GOP see President Obama's reelection as a wake-up call, signaling that the nation is changing demographically and politically, and the GOP needs to adjust, paying more attention to the concerns of Latinos, women, young people, new voters, and African Americans. In addition, a group of Republicans on the right are trying to rebuild the party for the 21st century. Among those in the forefront is former South Carolina Senator Jim DeMint, who is taking over the Heritage Foundation think tank. This will be a long process, but it's probably necessary if the Republicans are to remain a viable national party. For U.S. News, I'm Ken Walsh.